Car. Still with us right now to break that down is trial attorney Krista Ramey, who joins us from California, and Dave Ehrenberg, who's the state attorney in Palm Beach County, Florida. So we don't always have um, someone from the prosecution side as a guest and then also a defense attorney. I see this on Julie Grant's show all the time. Viewers love it. So Dave, make me the best case um, from this evidence um, and how that would help the prosecution. Well, this evidence is that he is not this individual who is uh, weak and feeble, older, and just had to defend himself from this scary younger person. No, this is a pretty vibrant person who didn't even have a handicap sticker in his car. You add to it with everything else we know, and you see that this guy was looking for a fight. I mean, he brought a gun to a movie theater when there was a sign that said, no guns allowed. He sat in the back like he was holding court with five seats saved so no one would sit around him because he didn't think that he had to play by the same rules as everyone else. That's the kind of person who gets enraged when someone is looking at his cell phone during the previews, not even during the movie, and yells at him and then starts a fight, confronts him, and ends up shooting him dead when the other person just threw some popcorn at him. So to me, that's a murder case. Krista Ramey, how do you spin it? Well, you spin it as handicap does not necessarily equal frail and the two things are mutually exclusive. Um, so you do have an older man who is who is frailer. And just because he isn't handicapped doesn't make him strong and you know vibrant and young again. And so the evidence is really a red herring. What you need to do is look at the facts. You've got someone who is allowed to carry his firearm in a movie theater, um, despite the sign. He's legally um, required to do so um, under his training and um, is acting accordingly. He has his weapon on his lap. He's not looking for a fight, but he's got someone who is picking a fight with him. He's got someone who is throwing the movie, the you know, the popcorn, leaning over the chairs screaming at him so much so that the other people around him can hear the screams over the loud um, previews that are playing. All so right. this was a very threatening um, situation for him. Thank you both for weighing in on that. I think it helps explain what we're seeing in evidence and how it might be used. Well, still ahead, don't go anywhere. We're going to stay with the movie.